Hi, I'm Molly and welcome to Dirty Moms Yoga. Uh, for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. If you are a returner, welcome back. I know we've been on hiatus with new videos for uh, a couple months, but uh, we're back, we're healthy, and we are ready to rock and roll, okay? I've got my new pants on, it's even got a belt. Um, we are ready for the holidays. I hope you guys are as well. If you've already had your holiday, I hope it was beautiful. So for those of you who are new, um, normally I will give you options for prop variations using blocks or straps, uh, blankets and pillows. I'll show you those today. I'm not going to show you, um, but I will still call it out. I'll give you a couple tips in just a second as well on how to help you with some of the poses. Um, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, I just hit 100 subscribers, and I'm super excited for that. Thank you to everybody who have supported me, who've supported my husband. He's the one that does all of the editing. Everything that you see that makes it look pretty, that's my husband. I'm just the talent. <laughs> So thank you, thank you so much. I'm so grateful for all of you and allowing me to have fun and teach you and bring you some yoga as well. It's a good challenge for myself. So with that, um, options for props. Um, if you are at home and you don't have yoga props per se, like blocks or a strap, um, today you shouldn't need a strap. However, blocks are always really, really something great to have during your yoga practice. If you need some, check out your local yoga studio and please support them. Um, support all those small businesses right now. Uh, but you can use books, you can use boxes um, from games, um, cookbooks. I'm looking at what's in front of me that you can't see on this angle. Um, anything that's gonna bring the floor up to you. So if you're somebody who can't reach your hands down to your toes or down to the floor, or if you have tighter hips, Pillows also work, um, but having those blocks or books nearby can help that pose to feel more powerful for you. Um, props are our friends. I use them all the time. I just chose not to use them for this video today. So um, with that, I'll try to throw in some options. I'll call it out throughout class if I can remember, but otherwise, let's get started, shall we? So find yourself in a nice, comfortable seated position. You can sit on, I got so much Christmas tree everywhere. You can sit on a pillow if um, your knees are above your hips, I'd recommend sitting on a pillow, which myself I'm gonna do as well. A pillow, a rolled up blanket or a towel, that always works. Helps to open up the hip flexors and you can find length out of your spine. You can move the fleshy parts away from your sitting bones. Feel the pelvis rooted down. Feel the length out of your spine as your shoulders melt down your back. Close your eyes, allow your hands just to rest down, and then just take a couple breaths, focus in on how your lungs feel, the rise and fall of your chest and your rib cage. Take a couple breaths and just feel that. Do you notice that your chest rises more than your rib cage? Do you notice that you're breathing into the back part of your lungs, feeling the whole back expand? Maybe you're a belly breather and you feel your belly rise and fall. Take a moment and explore the expansion of the lungs from top to bottom, side to side. Feel the rise and fall of those rib cage, of the chest, of the back and the belly. We oftentimes in yoga classes find ourselves in poses that make that breathing a little bit more difficult. So finding those areas that you can breathe in differently throughout the lungs can help you to keep that ujjayi breath, that yoga breath in your poses. Take one more big deep breath in and exhale. 
slowly blink your eyes open. You can keep height underneath your pelvis if you'd like to or throw it out of the way. Kick those legs forward, bring those toes back and engage the quads by lifting those kneecaps up. Feel length out of the spine, draw the shoulder blades down and away from your ears and slowly forward fold towards those feet. Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. You can grab onto those big toes with your first two fingers, your peace fingers if you'd like. Otherwise, just allow your hands to rest down and feel the length out of the front body. And exhale and see if you can go a little bit further, feeling a nice comfortable stretch behind the legs. If this is still uncomfortable for you, bend those knees and then forward fold from there. One more deep breath in and exhale. Inhale, come back up to center. Allow those hands, you might want to move the pillow or prop out of the way. Allow those hands to come just behind you. Fingers are pointing towards the front edge of your mat. Bring those feet back and push into those feet, lifting up the pelvis for a reverse table. Feel a nice opening in the chest and the collarbones. Draw that navel in and up. Really push into those feet. Deep inhale. Exhale and slowly lower yourself down. You have the option of just going back into that forward fold or pushing into your heels and then allow your pelvis to come through those hands. A nice little uh, core work here. Inhale and push yourself back up to that reverse table. Exhale, allow the pelvis to swing through those arms. Really push into those arms. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. One more time. Inhale, push up. Exhale, swing on through. Slowly allow yourself to come down. Shake out those arms. It's a nice little shoulder workout. Double pigeon. A little hip opener. Cross one leg on top of the other. My right is on top of my left. Trying to parallel those shin bones to the front edge of your mat. Feel length out of your spine. Again, this is uncomfortable. Sit on height. You can also take some pillows and place them underneath your knees as well. Even if you're all the way up here, don't worry about it. The more you practice, the more open those hips will become. Deep breath in. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale over towards the right. Allow the arms to come down for a nice gentle spiral twist. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale center. Exhale twist to the right. One more time. Inhale center. Exhale twist to the left. Excuse me, I had a little burp there. My goodness. Come back to the center. We're real here, by the way, if you're new to Dirty Mom's Yoga. What you see is what you get. It's just the authenticity that I am. Switch sides, left leg on top. Parallel those shins to the front edge of your mat. Feel the length out of that spine. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, twist over to the left. Allow those arms to come down. Nice spiral. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the right. Inhale center. Exhale back to the left. Inhale center. And exhale to the right, last one, back to center, and come on down. I'd like to stay here forever, it feels so good. All right, what do we have next here? Undo that, hug those knees in, you can come up to the front edge of your mat a little bit. We're gonna do a little rock and roll, this is a good core work. I want you to really curve into those knees, drawing the navel to your spine. You can grab onto your shins, you can grab onto your hamstrings, and just, you can test your balance if you wanna work from this position first. But really keep this position, tilt that pelvis, and slowly roll back to your back, and then back on up. When you come to the top, go ahead and tilt, and then rock again. A little rock and roll. It's nice little core work. Feeling the balance on the sacrums. Do one more. Once you get to the top, you can push into those hands. Come on up to a forward fold or make your way into a forward fold however you need to. This is, again, if you can't reach those hands to the floor, bring those blocks. Put your hands on the blocks and allow the head to relax down. Bend those knees generously. You can rock back and forth or sway. It's our first forward fold. There'll be a couple of them today. <laughs> Bend deeply into those knees. Drop the pelvis down and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Roll those shoulders up. 
back and down. Open up the palms to the front of your mat. Tadasana, mountain pose. Thank you, cuckoo clock. <laughs> Inhale, the hands up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. From here, plant the left hand down, bend into the left knee, and reach the right arm up high for a little spiral. Exhale, bring it down, bend the right knee, reach left arm up, inhale, exhale, come on down. Switch sides, right side, arm reaches up, exhale down, and left side one more time. Nice stretch in that IT band. Exhale, come on down. Plant those hands, up the right foot back, up the left foot back for a nice high plank. Draw that navel in. If you're still working on your planks, feel free to drop those knees down. Come into a nice tabletop position, cat cow. Inhale, look up. Exhale, push into those hands. Draw the navel in and up. Feeling opening space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, look up. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, look up. Exhale, cat. Come back into that tabletop position. Keep those toes tucked. Find yourself back in your plank position or keep those knees down. We're going to step the right foot to the right hand as close as you possibly can and step it back. Keep the core nice and strong. Left foot to left hand and back. Again, right side and back and left side and back and right side and hold it. Drop the left knee down. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, twist towards your left. See if you can bring the elbow down. Inhale, come high. Exhale and twist to the left. Inhale, arm up high. Exhale and twist. Last one, inhale high and hold. I should have mentioned we're doing a lot of dynamic and strengthening today. So it's like a strength asana class. I have your water nearby if you need it. One more deep breath in. Exhale, bring that hand down. Find your high plank. Downward facing dog. Push into those hands. Bring blocks underneath your hands if you're unable to either straighten your legs or you feel a curve into your spine. Do not be afraid to bend those knees. Walk back and forth. Rotate those biceps next to your ears and push firmly into the thumb and first finger. It's going to be interesting. I haven't tried this. I may kick my tree. <laughs> Inhale, the right leg up. Oh, I get a little bit. Exhale, draw the right knee to your nose and step the foot between your hands or on the outside. Drop the left knee down. Keep the back toes tucked. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Test your balance. See how you're feeling here. Inhale, feel a nice stretch in the front left hip flexor. Anjanasana, low lunge. From here, push into those feet. We're going to do a split stance. Squat. Inhale, come on up. Open up the chest. Cactus those arms. Exhale, come down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do one more because it feels so good. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep those back toes tucked to feel a little extra stretch in the left quad, or you can untuck those toes and really press the top of the foot down if you want to have a little bit more hip flexor. Inhale, exhale, twist over towards the right side and allow that left elbow to hook on the left, or I'm sorry, the outside of the right thigh. You can prayer those hands if you'd like. Push them into each other to create an additional spiral. This is where you have to find your breath, either in the ribs, in the back, or the chest. That's why we did the breathing technique in the beginning of class. One more deep inhale. Exhale, come back, bring your hands down. Kick the right foot out for a half split. Place those hands on blocks if you need to. Feel the length out of the front body. Draw those toes back towards your nose. Kick the right hip bump back, left hip bump forward for a nice additional stretch. If you feel anything uncomfortable behind the right knee, back off a little bit. Make sure you're not hyperextending. Deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale. Come on out. Plant those hands on the side of the foot. Tuck the back toes under. Find yourself in your downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, drop those heels a little bit further to the floor. Lift the tailbone to the sky. 
Inhale, come up high on the toes. Look between your hands and walk your feet to your hands for forward fold. Bend the knees deeply. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, feeling the space between each vertebrae. Roll those shoulders up, back and down. Open up the palms to the front of your mat. Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, the left arm high. Bend into the right knee. Keep the left knee straight. Exhale, come down. Switch sides. Right arm high and come down. Hair in my mouth. <laughs> Inhale, other side. And back down and right side one more time. And come back down. Plant those hands. Step the left foot back. Step the right foot back for your high plank. Draw the navel in and up. Feel length between or uh, through the back of your heels all the way out the top of the crown of the head. Drop those knees down. Cat cow. Inhale, look up. Exhale, cat. Really feel the space between the shoulder blades. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back to the neutral position. Push yourself back into the high plank or to keep those knees down. Inhale, left foot to the left hand and back again. Right foot to right hand and back. Left and back and right and back. Step that left foot. Keep it there. Drop the right knee down. Inhale, the left arm high. Exhale, twist over towards the right, dropping that elbow down, feeling a nice spiral. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, high. Exhale, down. Inhale, high, and hold it here. Feel the nice twist. Little detox into twists. Inhale. And exhale. So you can go a little bit further. One more inhale. Exhale, bring that hand down. Plant that hand. Sit back into a high plank and then push into downward facing dog. Don't be afraid to bend those knees. Bend those knees, kick that sacrum up to the sky, and then straighten from there. Even if there's a little slight bend still on your knees, again, you keep practicing, the easier it'll get, and the more length you'll find. Inhale, the left leg high, high tree. <laughs> Exhale, draw the knee to your nose, step the foot um, either in between your hands or outside of your hand, and drop the right knee down. Walk yourself up, low lunge, Anjanasana. Feel this nice stretch in the right hip flexor. Keep those back toes tucked for right now. Push into those feet, cactus those arms, and find yourself pushing up. A little split squat stance. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do one more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Hold it here. If you'd like more of a quad stretch, keep those back toes tucked. Or if you like a little bit more into the hip flexor, untuck those toes and really lift up the pubic bone, drop the tailbone down. You'll feel a little bit more stretch. One more deep inhale. Exhale, twist over towards the right. Right elbow is hooking on the outside of the left thigh for a little spiral twist. Prayer of those hands. Continue the spiral by looking up. Feel the left foot firmly planted into the mat. Top of the right foot's pressing down. Draw that navel in and up. One more deep breath in. Exhale, untwist. Plant those hands down. Tuck the, oh, yeah. No, yeah, plant those hands down. Kick the left foot out. Here we go. Half split. Ardha Hanumanasana. <laughs> really press the top of the right foot down into the mat. Bring the left hip bone back, right hip bone forward, and bring those toes towards your nose. Feel length out of the front body. If this is uncomfortable, you can even, I guess you can come up and do it like this too. It's more balanced, but I think you could do it. I'm trying to think of options for you guys. Otherwise, place blocks under your hands. That could help too. Check in with that left knee. Make sure you're not my uh, hyper, expend, hyper extending. There we go. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, bend into that leg. Plant those hands and step back into a high plank, pushing into downward facing dog. Rotate the biceps next to your ears. Firmly press into the thumb and the first finger. 
Inhale, come up high on those toes. Look between your hands and walk your feet to your hands. Forward fold. <sighs> Drop the pelvis down. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Open up the palms of the hands to the front of your mat. We're going to move on um, with extra variations. Feel free to continue with what we just did or try some of these options and see how you feel. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, static stretch this time. Bend the left knee, right arm reaches high. Stay here, deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhale, come down. Let's do it with the left because it feels so good. Bend the right knee. Left arm reaches up. Inhale. And exhale. Feel a nice spiral in the spine. One more deep breath in. Exhale, draw that hand back down. Plant those hands. Step the right foot back. Left foot into your high plank. Drop those knees down. Variation of cat-cow. You can go side cat-cow this time if you'd like, or continue with your average, um, I don't say average has such a bad connotation. Um, go with your other cat-cow, the original cat-cow. That's what I should say. So whatever feels good for you, try that one. Me back into a neutral tabletop position. Come up into a high plank. Step the right foot to the right hand and back. This stays the same, left foot and back. Draw that navel in. Right foot and back. Left foot and back. Right foot. Hold it here. Drop that left knee down. Inhale the right arm up high. Hold it here. Options. You can either lift up the back knee. Feel a nice runner's stretch with a little revolved. Or you can come up into a side plank. Really lifting up out of those obliques reaching the right side oblique up to the sky, stacking those feet or kicking the foot for a little kickstand if you need to. One more deep breath in. Exhale, come back to a high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shavasana. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, draw the knee to your nose, step the foot between your hands. Keep the back leg lifted this time. Inhale the arms up overhead for a crescent warrior, high lunge. Draw the right hip on back, left hip on forward. Bend into that right knee. Make sure that knee does not go over those toes. Feel an additional stretch right into that left hip flexor. We're going to a cactus split squat down. <laughs> Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, one more. Exhale down, I'm really burpy today, I'm sorry guys. Inhale up, find the bend. You can even lift the heart up towards the sky a little bit for a little back bend. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, spiral over towards that right. Hook that left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. Keep the back leg lifted if you'd like, or you can drop that knee down. Prayer position, revolved runner's pose. Draw that navel in and up. Really feel length of the top of your head all the way out through the back of your left heel. Firmly plant that right foot into the ground. Grow roots. You're stable. You're firm. One more inhale. Exhale, unwind, plant those hands down, drop the left knee down. Either kick out into your half split, or if you'd like to try, you can, going into full split. Go only as far as is comfortable, playing blocks underneath those hands if you're not able to come all the way down. Really draw that right hip on back, left hip on forward. Top of the left foot is down on the ground. I didn't fully prep you for this pose, so please, this does not feel good for you, don't do it. Reach that foot, right foot to the front edge of your mat. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, sink the pelvis down. One more deep breath in and exhale. Slowly come on out of it. Find yourself back in your high plank and push into downward facing dog. What feels good for me may not feel good for you. Any yoga class that you take, if it doesn't feel good, find the variation. 
or add props. Props can help too. And now come up high on those toes. Look between those hands. Step the feet to the hands. Forward fold. You guys are doing great. Stay with me. Bend in those knees. Drop the pelvis. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders up, back, and down. Tadasana. Ta-da! Can't help myself. Inhale. Arms up overhead. Exhale. Forward fold. Bend that right knee. Reach that left arm high. Hold it here. Deep breath in. And exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, come down, switch sides. Bend the left knee, reach that right arm high. One more inhale. Exhale, bring that hand back down. Plant those hands, step the left foot back and then the right foot. Drop those knees and find your cat cow that feels best for you. Again, an option is side cat cow. Open up the side body a little bit more. Find yourself back in neutral position. Find your tabletop. Left foot to left hand and back. Really draw that navel in as you switch sides. Keep going. Right foot, right hand, back left. Hold it here. You can drop that knee down. Inhale the left arm high for a nice spiral twist. Option, lift up that back leg. If that feels good or you wanna try something else, Try into a side plank, stacking those feet, really lifting up out of those obliques, really lifting that left oblique up to the sky, drawing the navel in and up. Inhale and exhale. Ooh, this side feels harder. One more deep breath in. Exhale, find yourself back in your plank and push into downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shavasana. Inhale the left foot high. Exhale, step between your hands. Keep that back leg lifted. Inhale, crescent warrior. High lunge. <sighs> Melt those shoulders away from your ears. Draw the navel in and up. Feel a nice stretch in the right hip flexor. Exhale, drop down to the split squat stance. Inhale, come up. Exhale and open. Inhale, come up. Exhale and open. Inhale, come up. Let's do one more. Exhale, open. Inhale, up. Bend into the left knee. Feel that crescent warrior. Sometimes I forget how many times I've done something. It happens. It's okay. Inhale. Open up the chest of the sky if you'd like. Come back to center. Exhale, over towards the left. Hook that right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. Prayer of those hands if you'd like. And continue that spiral by looking over the left shoulder. Really reach out of the right knee, feeling the length between the heel and the top of the head. Firmly plant that left foot down. One more inhale. Exhale, plant those hands. Drop that back knee down and either go into your half split or if you'd like to try the full split, Work your way on down, bringing blocks under those hands if necessary. Really pull the left hip bone back, right hip bone forward. Ooh, this side's a little tight today. Top of the right foot is firmly on the ground, lifting up the chest and sinking that pelvis down. And smile, it's fun. <laughs> Inhale into those tight areas and exhale, so even go a little bit further. One more deep breath in. Exhale, slowly roll on out. Tuck that leg back. Find yourself into a high plank. Last downward facing dog. Make it count. Press firmly into those hands. Lift the sacrum up to the sky. Drop those heels down towards your mat. Drop those knees down. Find yourself in child's pose. Big toes touch. You can either keep your hands long in front of you or you can reach those hands back towards your toes. Well, everything just to relax. Relax. 
slowly come back to tabletop position and lay down face down prone position onto your mat have your arms out into a T position you're going to push into that left hand open up the hips towards the right and then you can allow your left leg to open as far as is comfortable and see if you can plant the left foot down on the ground a little extra spiral opening in the right pack this is uncomfortable you can always keep it very minimal only go as far as you can listen to your body One more inhale, exhale, come back to center. Allow the right hand to rest on top of the left hand and allow your forehead to rest on the hand. Crocodile pose. This is a great pose. We'll open up those hands back into the T position. Push into the right hand, opening up the left pelvis and allow that right foot to come on down. Rest the head. Again, you can go very minimal if you'd like. Whatever feels comfortable for you and your back. Or even your pack may be a little bit tighter in your pecs. One more deep inhale. Exhale, come back. Allow the left hand to rest on top of the right hand and allow your forehead to rest down. Slowly come on out. Plant those hands and roll yourself over to your side. We're going to go into happy baby. I'm going to just show you from this angle because the other angle would be not so pleasant. We're not that kind of dirty moms. <laughs> we just don't like to clean our house. From here, hug those knees into your uh, armpits. I was going to say elbows. Hug those knees into your armpits, opening up those hips. Drop the sacrum down. Feel length out of the spine. So you're reaching the sacrum and the crown of your head away from each other. From here, kick those feet up, peace fingers again, and wrap around those big toes if you'd like for happy baby. Drop those knees down, kick the feet up towards the ceiling. Nice opening. I love happy baby. Who doesn't love happy baby? <laughs> I'd like to know. If you don't like happy baby, tell me why. Maybe there's something I can help you out to make it more comfortable for you. Leave a comment. You can rock back and forth. There's a lot of play in Happy Baby. Hug those knees into your chest one more time. Drop the feet down towards the floor. Push into those feet. Shift the pelvis over towards the right. Hug the knees into your chest and spiral to the left. That was a lot, I know. That's okay. Keep the arms in a T position if you'd like. And if you want to continue your spiral, look over towards the right hand. Bring those knees back to center. Plant those feet down. Push into those feet. Shift the pelvis over towards the left. Hug those knees into your chest and allow them to fall over towards the right. Continue your spiral if you'd like and look over towards the left. Did you guys see my new gnome? Isn't he adorable? He's got a bell on the top of his hat. All right, inhale those knees back to center. Square off your pelvis, push in and find your neutral position. Hug those knees in one more time. Rock and back and forth if you'd like. And allow everything to unfold into Shavasana. Feet are down long, arms are down long, down to your side. Palms facing up. You can cover yourself with a blanket if you'd like. You can even roll up a towel or blanket underneath your knees as well. Whatever's going to allow you to be comfortable for the next few minutes. We're just going to lay here in corpse pose, our Shavasana. 
our final pose of class and just focus on your breath and see if you can feel any difference. See if you can bring more breath into your lungs than what you did when we first started class today. Try that a few times, and then when that's done, or if you don't want to, just allow the breath to come naturally and allow your body to melt into the earth. One big, deep inhale. And open mouth, exhale, let it out. Wiggle those fingers, wiggle those toes. Bring subtle movements back to the body by rolling the ankles, rolling the wrists. Bend your knees by walking your feet towards your pelvis. Hug those knees into your chest and roll over into fetal position, one side or the other. With the strength of your top arm, push yourself up halfway. Your bottom arm pushes you up the rest of the way and find yourself in a nice, comfortable seated position, adding height if necessary. Bring those hands to heart center and allow the thumbs to rest gently on your sternum. Thank you for joining class today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy teaching all of these classes to you. I find such great pleasure in offering these to you. Walk around the world a little lighter, a little freer. Every time you find yourself on your mat, you find yourself centering, taking care of yourself so that you may take care of others if you wish to do so. Let's take one more deep breath in and exhale. The light, the light in me honors the light in all of you because you're simply fan freaking tastic. With that, I say namaste.